Hello everyone, welcome to this video. So uh, in this video, we are going to explore a uh, limits test, which is available on my website and my app. And this limit test is for the upcoming J mains 2025 January attempt. Now, uh, the purpose of this video is to get you in a real time exam environment. And then we are going to test you on the sectional test and also full chapter test. So in this video, let us talk about limits. And let us see how uh, this uh, questions are so designed so that they can help you overcome all the difficulties that you face in limits. So for example, in this video, I'm going to show you how I would approach such a paper given all the questions. The link will be in the description for the app and also for the test. It is free to attempt. It is provided inside the Calculus Mastery course. So this first test is basically free to attempt. Now, uh, let's start with question number one. So limit extends to zero log of one plus five x squared by x e to the power seven x minus one. Now, if you already know about uh, the standard properties of logarithms and exponentials, you will directly identify since x is tending to zero, you simply multiply x up and down. So you have to make this e to the power seven x minus one whole divided by x, and which means you will have this as x squared, and then also you have to multiply five up and down, right? So this is going to be a five by seven, correct? Okay? So uh, this is how, uh, this is a demo mode. So obviously in the actual uh, test, you won't be able to see the answers, but this is how you should solve the questions, right? So mentally, some of these questions can be solved given that you know enough about them. Okay, let's say this, uh, fx minus gx type of thing where x tends to infinity, very important. You always rationalize this thing. So fx minus gx is this, right? You multiply with the conjugate of this, which means you multiply with root over of x square plus root over of x to the power 4 plus 1 plus x root 2 up and down. So obviously, uh, below you got that thing, uh, where fx plus gx. And in the numerator, a square minus b square formula would be applied, right? Which means it would be x square minus 2x square plus root over x to the power 4 plus 1. And again, you multiply the conjugate and again, you get the answer. So I can do it mentally, but I would prefer not to. I would simply skip to the next question another question x into tan of 2x minus 2x tan x by 1 minus cos 2x whole square this first of all can be done using limits by expansion very easily because the denominator first of all becomes 2 sine square x which means if the denominator becomes 2 sine square x and then whole square which means we only need uh the 4 will go out the 1 by 4 will simply go out and it will you will be simply left with sine to the power 4x which can be uh, adjusted with the x to the power 4, which means we can simply have the whole thing 1 by 4 x tan 2x minus 2x tan x by x to the power 4 because sine to the power 4x by x to the power 4 as x tends to 0 is 1, right? Now, uh, therefore, this can be done using expansions. Tan x ka expansion is may use hoga, which is x plus x cube by 5, uh, 3 and stuff like that. So yes, I did you will uh, learn inside the calculus mastery course how to do these limits, limits effectively. Let's go to the next question. Again, a very uh, standard type of question can be done easily using L Hopital. So if you apply L Hopital once, you will get 1 by 3 into 2x into this 1 plus x squared thing. And again, if you apply L Hopital, you will get plus 1 by 4 into 2 into 1 minus 2x to the power something. And Nietzsche will get 1 plus 2x, which means that putting x equals to zero, you can uh, visual, you can basically imagine this to differentiating ones. If you put x equals to zero, the one plus x squared term and the one minus two x term will become one, right? So what's left will be one by three into two x, which simply is again zero. But this one by four into two, which is half, will remain as it is. So a half will uh, remain there. And alongside that, 1 plus 2x will also remain there. So B would be the answer, right? So some of the questions I can do without even pen and paper, which is what I'm doing. But uh, where there are like large calculations, I'm skipping them. But this is an exam scenario. When you have uh, mastery over all of these topics of calculus, uh, using limits, integration, differentiation, and stuff like that, you can directly do it using pen and paper under a minute each and every question, which means it is most likely that if you start with mathematics, your J mains paper, you're going to finish it, uh, let's say within an hour of that, within an hour of the first, within the first hour, you can finish your maths exam. 
and maybe you will leave two three questions unanswered but you can come back to them later on so for example uh, we have this uh, limit right a equals to this and b equals to this a cubic equation whose roots are a b and minus e to the power minus 2 which means it only depends we have to find out a and b and that so a is again a question which you can solve using differentiation that is l hospital if you apply l hospital you get 2 x squared 2x minus 1 divided by 3 minus cos x correct putting the value you get 3 minus cos 0 which is 2 in the denominator and in the numerator i think you get 2 and minus 1 so that is basically 1 by 2 so b is 1 by 2 directly and then a can also be solved because if you take logarithm you can solve it easily cot of pi by 4 plus x is nothing but 1 by tan of pi by 4 plus x so i think that should be basically 1 plus x by 1 minus x right 1 minus x by 1 plus x something like that so yeah a and b both can be solved we are to solve a you need to apply logarithms or just apply the formula of where you have exponential limits and then you simply find the root how do you find the root of uh, how do you find the equation from its roots alpha beta gamma so you basically write x cube minus of alpha plus beta plus gamma into x square plus alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha into x minus alpha beta gamma equals to zero this is for a cubic equation so yeah all these things are already discussed in many of the videos how to do this how to find these formulas but yeah uh inside the course you also find them as well so uh, i'll keep doing this on youtube as well so it's not necessary for you to buy the course of course again let's see this question six square plus 12 square and all the way up to six and whole square so as soon as i see this i obviously think that okay six square can be taken common and the whole square there's a whole square upon that so that means six to the power four is going to come out Inside, we will have 1 square plus 2 square plus n square whole square. Okay. Denominator, I see 5 plus 10 plus all the way up to 5n. So 5 can be taken common. It's again 1 say n. And again, uh, we see 2 cube can be taken common. And it would be 1 cube plus 2 cube plus all the way up to n cube. Which means numerator may the highest power is going to be n to the power 6. And uh, denominator may because you can apply all these formulas right 1 plus 2 plus all the way up to n is n into n plus 1 by 2 then the sum of the cube should be n into n plus 1 by 2 whole squared everything and the squared voila would be n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 then simply divide by the highest power of n in numerator and denominator combined whichever is the highest power which is going to be the same quantity in the numerator and the denominator so divide by them except the leading term everything else cancels out you're left with the constant which is the answer so my point is simply that uh, people have attempted this test. I have uh, reviewed back them with feedback. Uh, so as a student who is not even part of the course, you can still attempt that and I can still give you the feedbacks of how the test went, how you could have done better. And in the exam itself, please understand whenever you have these questions, try to solve them. First, try to approach them by thinking whatever I have solved is similar to this. And what is the easiest approach by simplifying them? Like, as I said, this question, do not be confused. I simply see a lot of things cancel out. And I know the general thing, whenever limit n tends to infinity, I have to divide usually with polynomials by the highest power. So uh, that is the purpose of this video. I think it is served. And uh, I wanted to introduce you to this platform as well. So I think both purposes are served. Uh, next video would be on quadratic equations, uh, continuing the Jaiman revision. And we will slowly go up to binomial theorem and stuff like that, and also integrations. So there will also be a very uh, integration video shortly, uh, reviewing some of its properties and a very interesting integral as well. So thank you for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. Also check out the description for link of the app, link of the website. And if, if you have any comments or queries, please do comment. Thank you.